Hi, my name is Jeff Sweeney, and this is my testimony. I guess I've always been around church, not necessarily every Sunday when I was growing up. More or less, I've heard them called Christers, <laughs> more um, Easter and uh, Christmas type of thing. Um, so I was more raised as it being like a babysitting type of thing, go to the the Bible studies and stuff like that. And um, it was just something that was for more of, I think, a break for my mom who raised me by herself. So that was just kind of where it was. I was raised around somebody that was pretty much an alcoholic, um, not vicious or anything. She was a great lady. Like I went in the Navy and even found more highways to alcohol and just really just buckled down on it, you know, like it was instead of God being the one to take me, it was alcohol that took away my pain. And uh, I, I don't even really know like if there was a lot of pain there. I mean, it just was like there. It was probably like 1998, they had like a Promise Keepers convention. Like I said, I know who God is. I, I don't know a lot about him. I mean, I know that he's our savior. I don't know like what to do and what I was supposed to do with it. And uh, <clears throat> one of the speakers was up there and he, you know, just like they do, like, hey, you know, if you're, if you're feeling it, come down to the stage. And I don't know what it was, man, boom, it hit me. So I went down there and like, I felt the change here but my life really didn't change that much, but I knew, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, I could tell the change. I could see what had happened. I just, you know, the life itself didn't change. There was still a little bit of drugs left in, not a lot. And, uh, you know, that just, eventually that went away and then it was just basically alcohol. And, uh, you know, I did alcohol for quite a few times. I've been bartender for 25 years. I mean, 10 of it, I was sober and actually going to church. One day, my wife, like, we were gonna get a divorce. It was over, it was done, and uh, <laughs> I believe she got saved. And um, she's Catholic at this time, so she ends up going to uh, our local church after she had gone with her best friend to her church. And uh, she'd gone on like, two or three months before she actually talked me into going. And, um, like, it, like it just changed, like that changed everything. Like, <laughs> quit smoking, drinking. Cause it was filled up. I mean, it's crazy how it is. Like even then, like, like I said, I bartended after that for 10 years because it was still a normal. And like, I'm not trying to sit here knocking anybody for what they do. I think everybody's got their own path. Um, but I just know there's hope. Well, it's totally different now. Now I deliver mail. <laughs> I got like a big boy job, I guess. Um, I prayed for quite a few years to get out of the bar business. And, and <laughs> as much as I can't stand like the COVID and all this stuff, that's the reason why I ended up with the job I have now. And it's crazy because they're always saying, it's like, what good came from the bad? And in my opinion, that life change came from something that was bad. God has his path for us and he, he sent me on a, on a crazy ride. And you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's just, it's amazing, like the feeling you get. I mean, just like if there's a side story, I was at Winco one day and, uh, I had my granddaughter and we were coming out and somebody was in, in our van and I'm like, what the heck? And kind of gave him a couple pre-Christian words and, and I kind of pushed her to the side and I was like, what are you doing in my van? You know, I was pretty mad. And he walks up and he shows me a gun. He's all, it's my van now, homie. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's your van, you know, like, and I was gonna give him my keys and everything. And he looked like right at me and I just, and I pulled my glasses down and I looked at him and I'm like, you can have whatever you want, just leave us alone. And he looks at me and he goes, do you believe in God? And I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> and he's all, man, I'm so sorry. Like, like, dude just like crumbled. Like, I don't know if he saw something in my eyes or something from my heart, but 
he crumbled, and I was like, that was from God. <laughs>